all right so next let's go to the next uh, talk I, this is my uh, next series on boric that i'm doing as promised i'm going to tell you every single remedy and how i think in uh, in boric and what are the clinical indications to everyone because i feel that education is something that uh, you know i finished my internship in i think in 2010 2011 it's almost been 10 years and for 10 years believe me i didn't know anything else other than homeopathy i just spent hours after hours studying from different different literatures which are possible spending time with different master homeopaths day after day month after month i absolutely didn't do anything else this was my geeta this was my quran this was my christ it was just everything for me so after spending a lot of time for last 10 years i realized that uh, i was lucky there were a lot of things that went my way including i didn't have too much of pressures responsibilities from the family i come from a family of ophthalmologists so i didn't have too much of pressure i was lucky enough to to be uh, picked up by real masters uh, dr sankar and dr sarkar dr vaishnav dr mohanti dr milindra they picked up me at a younger age and they really could i don't know what they saw in me but i was very raw and i was very arrogant and i was very um, but i was very passionate and i was very hard working so they picked me up and they just kind of molded me into what i am today so i feel a very big uh, sense of responsibility a kind of calling for me to to give it back to the world what i got so you know most people call me crazy what are you doing on a on a lock out why are you not enjoying i feel it's a time to to stand up so yeah something like that all right so let's come to the next uh, set of remedies sorry for the morning philosophy but that's what you get with me so let's talk with one of the very interesting remedy we don't use so often succinic acid let's see succinic acid would be a very important remedy for hay fever and allergic cold and cough constant sneezing and um, causing asthma itching of the eyelid canthai and slightest draft aggravate so i think it's a remedy to be differentiated with sabadilla and arsenic iod but it's a very important remedy lane gentlemen next remedy a very important remedy succinum succinum what are the main things i've used in i'll tell you i've used it mainly in cases of panic disorders where the main symptom is fear of being in trains and closed spaces so unbelievable our materia medica is just absolutely unbelievable fear of being trained and closed spaces interesting this is what i view and also there is asthma there is bronchitis there is pain in chest there is allergies in this remedy um but yeah succinum remember let's go to the next sulfonal very interesting remedy also um i think mainly this remedy um sulfonal is a cold tar product i think you'll use it mainly for vertigo a cerebellar origin so in lot of neurological problems or brain related pathology where there is cerebellar disorder you can see your cerebellar disorder with ataxia with weakness with gone feeling muscular incoordination think about sulfonal and uh, there's a kind of a confusion alternate happy and alternate sad and alternating state there's a kind of apathia I think you'll typically see a little bit of barita like state as well. There's a tropsy dullness, um, paralyzed, restless, vertigo, dizzy kind of stupid state. A taxic gait, uh, cold uh, feet, a lot of restlessness, jerkings, jerks of uh, the low motor jerks disappear, anesthesia. You'll see a lot of neurological common symptoms, insomnia, um, something like that. it's a interesting remedy for neurological problem should keep in your mind sulfonal let's go to the next see i'm not going to explain you sulfur because um, i think most people know about sulfur i'm not going to talk about sulfuric acid because it's a very common remedy i'm here to go across different remedies from boric which we normally don't use and which will be needed now in today's time you need to refine your skills ladies and gentlemen yeah let's go to the next sulfur iod i think i've spoken about this on youtube obstinate skin problems especially for cases of lichen planus 
tremendous remedy for self iodine and especially itching in the arms where there is a lot of hair i remember a friend's uh, mother's case a father's case who had lot of lichen planus itching especially in the um, armpit and on the arms and on the hairy part and thick eruption and uh, sulf like state and iod like symptoms so it's like a salt so sulf iod helped tremendously there's a lot of tonsils and everything is enlarged it's a iodatum kind of state is like glandular no let's go to the next sumbul i use this remedy in case if there was a case of um, a lady with lot of hysterical symptoms which suddenly the bp would go high and um, or she had arteriosclerosis and she had a strange sensation as if cold drops are falling on her something like that and sumbul helped her what are the symptom numbness uh, on being cold numbness so a lot of neurological symptoms also neuralgic hysterical kind of state cardiac also you can see asthma and this was the symptom sensation of cold water dropping on the spine also important for insomnia of delirium tremens and uh, tissue sclerosed arteries which means arteriosclerosis old people with arteriosclerosis think about this very emotional it's it's one of the remedies which are a lot of emotional changes like valeriana and a uh, lot of palpitations like uh, moscus neuralgia around left breast patient will say there's a something there's some kind of pain some kind of heaviness uh, it's a important remedy we, we miss it worse by exercise worse on left side cardiac hysterical state um choking when i say hysteria it means lot of choking lot of emotional change things like that yeah compare moscus yeah i would compare moscus with this next remedy symphoric cosper racemosa very important remedy for vomiting and nausea during pregnancy yes but also for brain tumors where there is a lot of nausea a lot of vomiting sensation bitter taste uh, sarkar uses this very often and with slightest motion causing nausea very important remedy think about it symphytum i think most of us know about this very very important remedy for for non union of fracture but important thing i want to tell you two or three things about symphytum it's a very important remedy for um, bone fractures but there always be a little pain after the fracture in the area of the bone one it's a very important remedy for along with this when there is gastralgia acidity and ulcers in the stomach yeah very important remedy because it's a remedy which causes kind of uh, healing of uh, gastralgia and uh, kind of mucosa there psoas muscle abscess deep muscle abscess like calcab huh? a um, lot of pain around the occiput uh, inferior maxillary nerve but any eye injury think about this remedy also hamamelis when there is bleeding ha huh? interesting cesium zambolinum i'll make another video when i i'll make one on indian drugs but so important remedy for diabetes so important for diabetic ulcers very very important remedy what is the main symptom lot of weakness thirst emaciation and lot of skin problems lot of uh, pimples and uh, urticarias and even when no remedy is acting think about cesium in diabetes oh uh, we'll go next tan acetum vulgari i haven't used this remedy too often but it's um it's interesting it it would be a very interesting remedy for lot of indolence and dullness a half dead half alive feeling like opium or papa varese family korea jerks um mental fatigue uh, they don't like closed rooms that much uh, lot of dysmenorrhea with pain going downwards as well and a uh, lot of respiratory kind of uh, um choking feeling things like that a lot of dullness and confusion to be honest this is a remedy we haven't used too often and we need to study a little bit more clinically prove it a little more to really talk about it last remedy for today uh, if you want i can do more videos just write to me that you are equally passionate as much as i am okay taraxacum compositive family we know this remedy dandelion what i want to talk to you about this remedy this remedy was given to given by a famous homeopath i believe bonning was sent to his son who had typhoid and um, he had a peculiar symptom in typhoid where he felt like walking lot of joint pain lot of dullness but a tongue was geographical and rustox didn't help 
so he gave tar x him so map tongue is very important tongue covered with white film raw leaving red sensitive spots bitter taste see i am just trying to build your brain up as to how i think so that at the end of one month you will have a knowledge of all the remedies and how i clinically think about it there is so much more you know i for every remedy i need to talk for a couple of hours because it's too long but i want to give you a just a trailer a just a starter and you can take charge after that uh, also it's a very important remedy for cancer of the bladder they claim yeah you can see your ca bladder hysterical tympanitis also but also for liver pathologies uh, liver enlarged indurated tympanitis also a uh, lot of pain neuralgia of the knee better by pressure so pain in the knee better by pressure like bryonia fingertips are cold um, bitter taste in the mouth uh, thirstless chilliness after eating fever fever symptoms are very important here there's another very interesting rubric uh, feeling of indolence better after working lot of night sweats and um, better by touch aggravated by resting and uh, yeah it's an interesting remedy i think we need to study this more so this is what i wanted to spoke, speak to you about uh, some crazy remedies um i want to talk so much more i think today we did more than 20 remedies just be crazy and work crazily hard let your work do the talking don't talk much let your work do the talking